Hi, I just wanted to take a couple minutes right now to go over today's assignment. Um, it's the interactive map of active volcanoes and earthquakes. Um, so what I did, I found it best um, to actually open up your Google Doc. And I actually did like a split screen sort of thing um, for you guys um, so that you can have access to the websites as well as uh, the Google Docs so you know what kind of questions um, they're going to be out. I actually attached all the individual hyperlinks, but all the links are also found on the Google Doc. Um, so it's what's really important or what's really cool about this assignment that this is in live. Um, it's a live feed. It's in live time. Um, so if you're doing your... Um, this assignment, like first thing in the morning, your answers are going to be actually a little bit different if you're doing it five o'clock at night. So um, I really need you to log what time, date and time you are working on and accessing these um, these websites um, because your information is going to be a little bit different depending on when um, you access it. Um, so the first one um, is dealing with earthquakes. So if you look at this, um, it talks to you about where it, what is the most recent earthquake and what is the magnitude? What country in the world was the most recent um, earthquake? So if you look right here, and again, I, I pre-recorded this video, but just so you can kind of get a feel, um, you can see that if it's in bold, um, that probably means that the magnitude is a little bit higher. You can see right here 5.2, and that was in Russia. Um, but if you look most recently, again, you can see here in the Kamakachitin Peninsula, again in Russia, but this magnitude was 4.8. Okay, so you can kind of scroll down and see kind of, you know, recently in the past 24 hours, how many earthquakes have actually taken place, and then the log it because um, it is in. Uh, real time. The next uh, portion is talking to me, it says in the uni United States, where did the most recent earthquake take place? Um, with the most recent earthquake, what was the magnitude? And then um, where is most of the earthquakes happening? West Coast, East Coast, or Central uh, America, or Central US, excuse me. So if you bring up this website, which a lot of times it takes a moment to load because there's so much data, um, you can see here, um, you can answer those questions. The most recent one um, right here is in California at Little Lake. Um, magnitude is 3.6. Um, again, your data is going to be different because I pre-recorded this video, um, but you can kind of see that data there. Um, and then you can answer the question where most of the earthquakes are actually taking class, place, East Coast, West Coast, or in Central United States. Um, the last link is dealing specifically um, near Alaska. Um, again, so in the U.S., where is the most recent earthquake? What was the magnitude? And then um, this question is specifically um, where in Alaska um, are they? Oh, right here. Um, in the last 24 hours, what was the largest earthquake and why? Looking at the map, why there's so many volcanoes and earthquakes um, in that area. So if you look at this screen again, um, this is called, if you don't know it already, it's called the ring of fire. Um, and this is a big plate boundary. So you can see here, this is a plate boundary. And if you look here specifically here, this is, you know, Alaska, um, a lot of those volcanoes and earthquakes are happening right around that fault line. Um, so you're going to answer a couple questions about that, but really cool data of, um, earthquakes and volcanoes interest you. This is a great resource um, for you to kind of check back in, or if you hear something in the news and they say, Oh, an earthquake happened in California, come right to this source. Um, and you'll be able to kind of tell, um, know the magnitude and get the actual specifics of that. Um, so really cool stuff. Um, if you have any questions, um, for today, activity, please feel to reach out to us via email or Google Hangout, and I hope to hear from you soon.